Hey, beautiful people, if you want to see how I made this super cute crown halo braid, yes, halo braid style, I keep on watching. It is a five minute style, so it's perfect for the week, weekday or school day. First, you want to grab your parting comb and part your hair uh, horizontally across your crown, and this will this will make it so you can have the correct part to start your braid. So it's kind of like parting your hair in half, but the opposite direction. So after you part your hair, all you have to do is section off the piece that where you want to start braiding. This for me is the only way that I can keep track of where my braid is going. If I have all my hair out, it really doesn't work. So then I just start parting my hair near my ear because that is where I want my braid to start. Um, for me, it's the easiest thing is to have it start behind my ear because the braid will start small and get gradually bigger. So go ahead and brush your hair out or detangle it. It's really important for your hair to be detangled for this style. So now it is time to start the magic. Go ahead and grab a small section of your hair, make sure it's fully detangled, and start braiding. So this is going to be the same braid as a cornrow. Um, I don't know what else people are calling it, Dutch braids. I don't call it Dutch braids, it's a freaking cornrow. So, and then you just start braiding. So make sure that you're braiding close to your head and that you're adding hair you're not borrowing hair and you're adding hair with the same turn. So I would always put one piece down and then loop the other pieces around and I always grab hair with the same piece. I hope that makes sense. But when I put one piece under and grab the hair with it, then I wait for the full rotation again until I grab more hair. That just ensures that you have a really even braid so you can see I'm going kind of slow here and you can see here that I smooth out in between each rotation. So here at the top, when I know my hand is coming, that's where I grab my hair. And when I put it down underneath, I don't grab more hair. So this, this way helps you have an even braid that's not super lumpy. Because I used to just grab hair whenever I felt like it and my braids will always turn out like and this way is the best way for me to keep track of what hair I'm grabbing. So anyway, yeah, just keep on doing that. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. Imagine all the people living for today. So once you get to a little bit behind your ear, you will feel that you are starting to run out a run out of head space. So your braid is not going to be attached to your head any longer, if that makes sense. Uh, it will still be attached to your head, but you are running out of crown space for your hair to cornrow to. So that's when you start feeding your braid downwards a little bit and adding all that remaining hair. So I had one like robe piece. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, but it ended up being a little bit messier than I wanted it to. But hey, that's why this is a messy five minute tutorial and not a beautiful halo perfect braid tutorial. But either way, it's so fun and easy. So braid your hair down to the bottom. And some people like to secure it with an elastic or a bobby pin or something, but my hair will stay, so I'm good. It's kind of messy back there, but then here's where you want to start to make your brat, your brad, <laughs> make your braid a little bit wider and a little bit more full. I like my braid to look kind of messy, so I start pulling pieces out a little bit, and then I start to fiddle with where I want my braid to sit. So I tuck the little end underneath um, the front of the braid and then I start bobby pinning it down. So you can use as many bobby pins as you want. I, I think I used maybe five at this time, but I only showed you a few. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's 
you just keep on adding bobby pins until you really feel secure. You can double up on your bobbies and uh, until you feel like, okay, this is cute. Um, so yeah, this is a five minute hairstyle. It's not rocket science, but I really hope you guys like it. I didn't add edge control because I didn't have time, but yeah. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. We got everything that you need.